cool, unshakable, and in control. That was my first impression of Amanda. She brought me into her office, and she just focused on me. Make yourself comfortable, Nikita. Have a seat. Or not. What are you, the concierge? If need be. I can also be an advisor, a teacher, but most of all, a friend. I don't need friends. No, of course not. You survived all those years on your own. No one ever helped you. That's right. Not even Carla? I've read your file, and it seems this woman meant a great deal to you, which is why I'd like to know more about her, so I can get to know you. It will help us decide whether or not to keep you in the program. I haven't seen her since the night I was arrested. She never visited you in prison? She couldn't. Oh, I see. She's on the run, just like you. She used to always say that it was fate that we were both running for five years. Or we would have never met. Five years. That's enough for today, Nikita. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. She changed my protocol completely. That session was about building trust, not threats. She left a new recruit alone in her office? What fire was she going to? Interrogation. She went to interrogation. Why did you let Carla go? All I'm asking for is the truth, Brian. The truth will set you free. Carla gave me my life. That's the truth. Amanda, I think we're done here, aren't we? He lied to us about his target. So, she's alive after all, huh? What target? Before your time. What is he doing here? I'm showing him the ropes. Michael has proven to be a top-notch operative, so I'm putting him in charge of agent operations. Do you have a sidearm? Yeah. Give it to me. She needs to die. We need to kill her. No arguments there. <laughs>